imagine running the 400 meter dash, but you're holding your breath underwater, can't touch the bottom, tightly surrounded by seven people doing the same. Now smile, make it look effortless. This is artistic or synchronized swimming, a beautiful but challenging sport that combines swimming, gymnastics, and dance. As a past high performance athlete and now professional coach, this unique sport is my passion. But as a researcher, this sport caught our eye because it poses the heart with a very unique set of stressors. Some athletes have even fainted during their routine, which is a drowning risk, but we're not quite sure why this happens. Through both my lenses, I want to know how artistic swimming affects the heart. First, we reviewed what could be happening based on how we know the heart reacts to some key stressors. And there's truly a lot going on here. Responses to water, responses to breath holding, straining, while breath holding, hyperventilating when you do breathe, responses to water, exercise, performance anxiety. I'm out of breath listing these. The point is some of these gear up the heart for action in a state of fight or flight, while others slow it down and pump the brakes. These responses are normal, but what's unique is when conflicting signals are sent simultaneously. This creates a state of heart conflict that can cause a regular heartbeat that can cause fainting. We're now studying this in action by looking at heart electrical activity in athletes while they train. And so far, even the simplest breath holding drills have caused irregular heartbeats, like the one I've shown above. And this opens up a ton of questions. How common is it? Is it actually risky? And how do athletes adapt over time? But another key piece is real world impact. Breath holding is uncomfortable. It carries some risks, yet it's embedded into our sport. How do athletes and their coaches manage fainting? We're working with a team of community members to better understand their lived experiences and perspectives. And shockingly, most could recall witnessing at least a handful of fainting events over their career in young, apparently healthy, high-performance athletes. Imagine the stress of blacking out when facing the underwater 400-meter dash is already grueling. The last thing that any athlete wants to be thinking about before diving in on the world stage is, will she, will I make it up from this swim? With this work, we're hoping to provide management recommendations for affected athletes, their teammates, and their coaches to improve aquatic sports safety. Better understanding heart conflict could even help us prevent drownings off the pool deck, say, at the beach. Here, we look beyond surface performance. And it seems like our answers might just lie in the heart's rhythm beneath the waves. Thank you.